What's up everyone? Once again, this is Exhibit 28 and I am back on the OCRP servers. It has been a while since I've been on the server. If you missed my last couple videos, I was sick a lot last week. Started to feel quite a bit better. Um, I was actually feeling better this weekend and was planning on doing some recording. And then on Saturday, I actually was forced to evacuate my house and neighborhood. There was a pretty large fire, um, just like a block over. It was like 500, I think, just over 500 acres um, when they asked us to, when they asked everybody to get out of the area. And so on Saturday, my family was forced to go. Luckily, the office, the company that my wife works for, we were able to uh, go and hang out at the office uh, that she, where she works. Sorry for the radio dispatch. I turned it down a little bit. And uh, it was like a hundred and I think like a hundred and four degrees out that day. At first, we were just kind of sitting in the Walmart parking lot, trying to figure out what we were going to do. We packed up as much as we could. We packed up my daughter, my dog, my brother-in-law's dog. And, you know, sa save some essential stuff. We got some clothes. I actually, <laughs> I grabbed my computer. There was no way I was going to let that stay in the house. Um, it, we really did think that the house was probably going to be gone. I will uh, put a link down in the description to the video. It's a very short video, like 20 seconds, that I posted uh, late Saturday. If you haven't viewed it already, you can see the, the black smoke above the houses that are on my street. Um, it was definitely kind of a frightening situation. We just wanted to get out um, as quickly as possible. We started packing up before anybody, before we were actually told to leave. Um, and it, like I said, we ended up at the office where my wife works. And luckily they had air conditioning there, because like I said, it's 102 degrees, 104. And the firefighters, they had two helicopters and a, a fire retardant plane, dropping fire retardant uh, material. They were all working on it. And late Saturday night, we were informed that they had finally started to get it under control. And then I think it like midnight or something like that, the uh, PG&E was able to get power back on to the city. 10,000 residents were without power. I don't know if I have an officer coming behind me or what. But uh, they were able to get power back on at like midnight that night. And we were luckily able to go home that same night, Saturday night. I had planned on getting to record some on Sunday um, even though I was extremely exhausted from the day before but unfortunately there was some damage done I have my internet through my cable company and they had damage done to their equipment and so I had no cable and no internet until last night um can't remember what time last night it finally came back on. So I just I wasn't able to get anything recorded on on Sunday. So I am recording today on Monday. I will get this video out tomorrow. When you're watching it, it'll be Tuesday. Oh, oh if you watch it when it the when it first comes out. I'm sorry I haven't been on for a while, but that is the reason why. Like I said, was really sick, and then <laughs> the fire. It was a not the best weekend. My uh, my daughter was very, very frightened um, as we were trying to pack things and spray down our house to make to try to get it as wet as possible to try to protect it. We, uh, sh you know, she was having a hard time keeping it together, um, which that's never fun. You don't want, like seeing your kids. Scared. Um, but luckily, 
luckily the firefighters were able to save our house and our our block. A lot of people in the area weren't so lucky. There was businesses and homes that were completely destroyed, completely flattened. I live really close to a high school. Uh, some of their property was damaged. They, uh, like Future Farmers of America, their um, farm at the high school was destroyed. Luckily, they, uh, they have, you know, farm animals that they keep there. Luckily, firefighters were able to get there just in time to just open the gates and uh, and let the animals go. I don't know where the animals went. They're probably somewhere wander, wandering around the town. Um, but that was, you know, that was their only option. They couldn't get there uh, quick enough to actually save the farm itself. But luckily they were there in time to be able to open the gates and just let the animals all go and escape. And so they all were able to survive. So that was my weekend. How was your guys' weekend? Let me know down in the comments. Close enough to the store to lock it. As you can tell, I've come down to Los Santos. I am going to be... <coughs> excuse me. Working as an LSPD officer. Change clothes. This is my latest LSPD. I believe it is. Alright, there we go. It's good. Um, I want to... I'm not using any of the... Was it number two? I guess it was, like... Put my mic up there. I'm not going to be using any of the vests right now. Like the, the bullet-resistant vests. They've still been having a lot of uh, problems for other players on their screens. Four, six, eight. <clears throat> when you see them from a distance, they kind of look really hey, funky. Can you, uh... Go ahead and uh, grab a vehicle. I don't think there's too many people on. Oh, there's a few. So we're going to take a little drive down inside the city. I know on one of my recent videos I s mentioned that I was uh, going to be going civilian for the month of July. That has changed a little bit. Um, don't worry, I'm still going to be doing civilian stuff, still going to be doing criminal stuff. But actually, now the rules have changed for law enforcement. We don't actually have to switch departments in order to go civilian. So I can actually remain a law enforcement officer, continue doing law enforcement stuff, but also when I decide to, go ahead and switch my character in the CAD and do some criminal stuff as well. The only thing I can't do is going to the like drug, drug manufacturing and selling locations. I can't do any of that kind of stuff as long as I'm still an LEO. Um, because then I find out locations and stuff. But as long as I don't do any of that, which I wasn't planning on anyways, I think the drugs and stuff, it's it can be fun, but uh, at least for now, it seems a little bit um, kind of like an overdone uh, kind of RP. A lot of people do it. There's a lot of stakeouts on, you know, locations and stuff. So I'd rather just come up with some really interesting... Uh, unique role-playing situations and do that. Definitely criminal stuff. Some criminals, some, you know, kind of in between. Not so much criminal. I don't want to give anything away uh, of the ideas I have. Uh, but definitely some interesting role-play scenarios for the law enforcement officers. And so we can do that now anytime we want as law enforcement. We can decide, you know, I could do... do uh, LSPD right now, and in 20 minutes decide that I want to clock out. Somebody's got a hot mic. Sorry, somebody was 
Somebody was saying that somebody was talking with a hot mic. I was wanting to make sure it wasn't me. So yeah, I mean, now that we can go switch back and forth whenever we want, like I was saying, I could do LSPD for you know an hour or two. Is it a mandatory death? And if I decide to, I could then go clock out, switch characters, and do some criminal stuff. Pay six hundred thousand dollars or the death penalty. So that will be fun. I will probably still go civilian. I will probably still switch sometime. That way I can do some of the drug activity if you guys want. Let me know down in the comment section if that's something you guys really want to see, the drug location kind of roleplay. Because um, that's definitely something I can do in the future. I'm so not going to do that in July. Uh, um, a lot of the law go. enforcement officers have been really asking for some you know, really quality, interesting, well, unique uh, roleplay uh, scenarios lately. So I'd like to, uh, like to provide some of that. I know we had one not long ago with Nolf, the, uh, undocumented, as he called himself. 411, I get 468 to it? That was extremely unique and entertaining and fun. Temple. So I want to do, you know, fun stuff like that. Not, <laughs> not quite an alien, but, uh, Definitely give the officers, you know, something that they're not used to, something that they don't see all the time, even just some routine calls every once in a while. Some routine calls are fun. Not everything has to end up in a shootout. Not everything has to end up in a chase. Does that mean I'm not going to get in a chase or two or five or ten? No, that doesn't. Does it mean I'm not going to end up in a shootout with the cops? No. But not every RP scenario needs to end up in that way. So I hope you guys will enjoy that. That'll be coming up. Uh, that can start any time. Just whenever I decide to do some civilian stuff. I know... stuck in the field near that postal. I know somebody in the comments said they wanted me to... to drive a tow truck. So that will probably be something I will be doing sometime soon. Fuck you, Fuck you too, motherfucker. You have any other ideas of, you know, interesting, unique things for me to do while uh, as a civilian or a criminal? Let me know. Like I said, I have a few ideas, but I always like to hear your thoughts. Get some good suggestions out of my comment section, that's for sure. Always looking for ways to improve this channel. To the Fidelity Unicorn parking lot, and he came out. Metro 128. 128. Be out at 206 Adams Apple Boulevard on a gray van. Occupy one time white male. Officer Benson with the Los Santos Police Department. How you doing today, sir? Hey, uh, how you doing? Doing all right. Uh, looks like your vehicle has some damage. You're missing a uh, left tail light. Uh, what's going on? Last officer with three two four. Um, uh, it was a rock. A rock uh, hit. hit my Go ahead. Tail. A rock hit it. What about your windows? I need my phone. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. It was a rock. 
Was somebody throwing rocks at your vehicle or what? Uh, no, you know, they, they fall off of uh, trucks and stuff, you know. All right. How can you uh, cut through the parking lot of the uh, the vanilla unicorn back there? Was you trying to get around that red light? Uh, well, no, I was, I was going to go down to the, to to the club, and then I forgot uh, they're not open for the day, so, you know. All right. You got your uh, license, registration, and proof of insurance on you, sir? Uh, no problem here. It's uh, Joey not Diaz. Time. Stand by right All right, Mr. Diaz, sit tight. I'll be uh, right back with you, okay? All right. A rock. A rock came off a truck and broke out your back tail light. All right, so we're going to look at the name database. Joey... Diaz. Valid, no picture, no warrants. This is the Bravado Yuga. Alright, let's uh, play database. Six, seven, two units over that. Valid. Alright. And for all that. Hey, Mr. Diaz, uh, I'm gonna, you know, just advise you to get get the uh, damage repaired on your vehicle. I mean, it's kind of a weird story. You say that a rock kicked up and hit it, but broke out your windows and broke out your back tail light and stuff. It's uh, a little odd to me. Well, you know, it happens going down the road. All right, sir. Well, go ahead and just uh, get that all fixed up as quickly as possible. You shouldn't really be out on the road with the uh, glass coming off and the, the tail light out and stuff like that. So, as soon as you can, get to a repair shop. Uh, okay, there, sure. Is, is there something else you'd like to say? Or? No, I'm good. Have a nice day. Alright, sir. As soon as I step back in my vehicle and turn off the lights, you can go ahead and head off. Alright, have a good day, sir. He's acting a little weird. Unfounded. But everything was came back valid, so. Metro 128, 10, 98, 10-8. You know, when he says rocks and stuff popping up, maybe he's trying to allude to the fact that desync he said it happens on the road desync does happen so not gonna take them from something like that all right so honestly i was in the server for a few hours a couple hours and i literally had like one one or two little tiny calls so i got bored and now i have switched to a civilian character louis galisi that's his name, Luis Felici. He doesn't fucking give, give a shit. He's just gonna be out having some fun. Not causing anything too big. Not gonna run from the cops or anything like that, but... Of course, as soon as... <laughs> As soon as I get out, uh, leave LEO for the night, there's a major priority going in the fucking city, too. Of course. Just gonna drive around, see if I can, uh, catch someone's attention. Have a little fun. I gotta stop by here and, uh, talk to my fucking whore of an ex-girlfriend. The fuck is a gate? The fuck? How do you get in this fucking shithole? I don't like you. You want me to get all Grenada on your ass? Hammy. Yo, Tammy, open the fuck up. Know you're in there, bitch. 
Come out here. We need to talk. Stupid whore. Where the fuck is she? Oh, what do you know? Her fucking brothers and her uncle up here. Hey guys, where the fuck is Tammy? You guys ain't gonna talk to me at all? What the fuck? Jesus Christ, you fucking assholes. Fine, you know what? Fuck your fucking barbecue, alright? Stupid ass. Tell that bitch I'm coming for. Her. God, I can't believe I had to park my fucking car in the dirt. God damn, I never want to come back to this fucking shithole. What the fuck was that? Oh, it's all just lights, alright. Damn it. Unlock you piece of shit. Stupid fucking bitch. Holy fucking shit, did you see that car fucking just like fly? Shit. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh fuck, they just like crashed behind me too. Fuck. People of this area are fucking idiots. Maybe I should stop and see if she's a fucking drunk bitch. I don't even want to fucking lock my car again. You guys shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You seen Tammy? No, you, what? Like, she told everybody not to talk to me or something? Jesus fucking Christ. You know what? Go fuck yourself, Susan. Everybody in this goddamn fucking town is mute. What's up with all the explosions? Fuck. Go faster. Hey, I'm stuck in traffic again. Nobody gives a shit, bitch. You make me crazy. I don't know baby. why downtown got so much. All the paparazzi in this town are fucking lame. The forest is real urban. What is this shit hold? I want something to drink. All right. Peace, bro. Give me uh Sometimes Four shots I need a of good whiskey. laugh, so I go to the split sides and see some stand-ups cuz they cheer me up. God. God, I can't Whatever. fucking handle it in here. It's fucking I just drink my drinks. Get the fuck out of here. One, two, three, four. Emerald. Oh. I hear ya. I am totally organic, oh, much but it's hard for me to not smoke once in a while. That's I love fine. Redwood after it's a long day. It's this town that has you the problem. Let's get the hell out of here. They like hear it, see it, good, feel you know? it. I'm trying to help people, help the community. This is the exit. doing the right thing, you know? Uh, Blow me, okay? I don't know where the exit is. Oh, hello. Hi, guys. Hey, my car. God's still here. That's always good. Oh. Hey, what's up? Thinking about 
about accessorizing more. Oops. Go for a little drive. Fuck out of the way, Jesus fucking Christ, maniac drivers. Fuck. Alright, so I've been driving around. I ain't crashing into shit like that. You know if I can attract any any police attention. Drunk as fuck. time I think I might just roleplay that I'm fucking drunk because holy fuck, this is fucking bad. I, I apologize if it's a uh, it's hard to watch. I'm so surprised I haven't got pulled over at all yet. And there it went. What? 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 What happened? Where am I? What? Who the fuck does this guy want? Ooh. Yeah, okay, sir? What? Huh? I'm fine. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? You got your, your license, registration, and proof of insurance? Uh, yeah. Hold on, let me check. Do you want to go ahead and step out of the vehicle, please, sir, as well? I'll make sure you're okay. Uh, I'm fine. I, I'm really yeah. fine. I, I need you to step out of the vehicle, please, sir. 
Step out. Oh, okay, hold on. How the yeah, just step out. How the fuck do I open this door? Do you want to just take a seat, sir? You got anything that's going to stick, poke, or hurt me? Uh, here, here's... Third yet. Here's my license. Yeah, okay? Yeah. Okay. My... Um, I just want to search you just for my safety and your safety, but you crashed pretty hard, so I just want you to sit down once I do it, okay? I crashed? I, I didn't crash. I'm just sitting here on the side of the road. So you, you hit the bush over there and went flying in front of me. I, I saw you. You were swerving all over the road, driving like a maniac. What? Uh, phew, you need Not to mention your, uh, your car is over here smoking there, sir. I just had a cigarette. Yeah, he then all. pulled it over to the side of the road and slammed into that barrier that he's facing. So, you got anything to drink or anything tonight, sir? Uh, no. Uh, you got anything, though? It sounds good. Oh, I'm sure it does. Do you want to just go ahead and take a seat, sir? I'm just going to check over your body for any injuries. I've got oh. EMS just coming to make sure you're okay, okay? Hey, Johnny, you're right to run the plate, man. Yeah, yeah, I got you. All right, sit down. I'll what's sit what's down. your name there, bud? My name's Louis, uh, Louis Scalisi. You said Louis Casey, is that what you said, sir? Scalisi, S-C, uh, yeah, S. Oh, okay. Okay, um, is your ID in the car, or is that on you as well? No, it's in my pocket. I'm just gonna take that, okay? Alright, sure. I don't know what the fuss is about, I'm just sitting here having a smoke. God, your lights are bright. Yeah, I, I apologize for that, sir, but I have to have him on just so that no one else comes over and crashes into us, okay? So, you, where, where are you coming from, sir? Coming, uh... I don't know, I was went and saw my fucking whore of an ex-girlfriend, and she wasn't home, so... Decided to go off for a little drive. That's basically where we are now. Okay, so you didn't come from a bar or anything, sir? Uh, I might have stopped by, uh, the tequila place. Tequila la 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 thing. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. I don't really want you walking around too much because you just were in a, involved in a crash, so I'm going to get this deputy to stay here with you, and I'm just going to go and grab my breathalyzer, okay? Really, I mean, it's not necessary. I'm fine. I don't know why you keep talking about a crash, but I'm good. You're not fine. Your car's not fine. So you just hang out here with this deputy. What'd you do to my car? Right here, John. Uh, plate comes back to a Louis or Louis Scalisi. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's him. I just got yeah, his no, ID. No, no wants, no warrants, uh, no firearms registered. Okay, man. Yeah, I had a taser on him, but that was about it that I saw. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, he's clean. All I'll right. stay here with him, though. Fuck, you guys gotta have the bright lights in my face? Jesus Christ. No, we're just trying to we're trying to be noticed on the side of the road here. I know it's it's a little bit bright, but you know, you can't ever be too careful. Some of these uh some of these locals out here aren't aren't, aren't too careful. They they pretty erratic, so Yeah, no 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 shit. I got people driving on the wrong side of the road in me early. That's crazy. Fuck. Yeah, they're they're from another planet. Welcome to the county. Then I'm out here just having a little cigarette and you guys are harassing me. Alright, Louis. Um, have you ever blown into a breathalyzer before? Uh, I, I, no, not that I know of. Okay, so in my left hand here I have a breathalyzer. Now this piece here, it's, it's a new piece that I just put on. You're gonna put this bit into your mouth and you're gonna blow until I say stop. Do you understand? gonna put something in my mouth and you want me to blow on it oh is this, this how that goes all right is that how you guys yeah, harass me until i do that for again. you well you i mean you can either not blow into it and it's up to you and i just detain and i know i don't know i might even arrest you because you were doing nearly 110 back there on the highway and then the medics are going to stick needles into you and draw blood so you can blow into this into the tube which will make it so much easier or we can just draw blood Wait, they're, they're gonna stick needles into me anyways, or, or what?
Well, yeah, they're probably going to still stick a needle into you, but I mean, I can buy you a little bit of Tommy. Alright, well, alright, fine, I'll blow on your little thingy. If I can find yeah, it. Yeah, man, I appreciate your cooperation. <laughs> just, just for my records, okay? So, you start blowing whenever you're ready. Alright. <laughs> Keep blowing, sir. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Yeah. Keep blowing and stop. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go check the results. Um, You're up. I I clocked him at 107. I finally caught up. He was swerving in and out of the traffic and not maintaining his lane. He then hit the bush over here behind us and flipped his car, and then he drove over the side here and rammed into that con concrete barrier. Um, so I just ran a breathalyzer on him. But you guys will have to draw some blood as well for me if you can. Whenever. Nope, that's not us, man. That's the hospital. Yeah, we can't do that. The hospital has to do that. Your, uh, okay. well, your little blowy anyway, thing kind of tastes like whiskey. Draw some blood. <laughs> I don't know what they asked. Takes blood pressure and pulse. blood pressure here. Sir, what's your name? Yeah. My name's Louis. Uh, Louis uh, Scalisi. God, like all this for sitting on the side of the road and trying to have a cigarette. My God, like, what the hell? Sir, they said the. Sir, they said that you got into a uh, traffic collision with this uh, brick wall here. Brick. Oh. At over 100 miles yeah. an hour. Uh, we believe he's intoxicated. Uh, troopers over there checking the results right now. Just waiting for uh, the reading to come through. Hey, John, can you just come over here for a sec? Yeah. Yeah, I just looked at the result there. It just came back as a point ten, point one zero. Oh, he's over the legal limit. Yeah, yeah, he's a bit, he's a bit out of it. Um, I it probably be get... best for the medics to take him the way he was driving. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd probably follow him over there, and uh, you can book him from there. Yeah, definitely. Jeez, you gotta keep <laughs> poking and prodding me. Fuck. You, you could yeah, tell, I'm you could tell when as soon as he stepped out of the no car, you could smell the alcohol injury or anything. Um, did you search the car? Uh, no, I haven't searched the car yet. I was just moving away so I wasn't interacting too much with them over the talking too much. But um yeah, you could definitely tell he was intoxicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You uh you wanna search a car or you want me to do that? Um, yeah, we you can start on that other side. Um I was just gonna wait for them to move here. I was gonna search it. Okay. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. I'll wait for him to get out yeah, of there. Yeah, he uh he's gonna be good. He has no injuries or anything. I don't know how when he hit a brick wall, but Hey, uh, you guys need I might, okay. might have scraped the brick wall. I'm fine. Okay. Uh, sorry, what was that? You said you guys needed a blood sample? Yeah, I need a blood sample because he's intoxicated. So go with my okay, report. Do you want to go okay. to a hospital at all? Yeah, we're, we're going to no, need... No, uh, I'm fine. I don't need to go to a hospital. I just parked my so car. I might have bumped the little wall uh, a little bit, but Jesus Christ. Like, doesn't, doesn't need all this. Sorry, can you come over here? Okay. My all bitch right. ex-girlfriend well, probably said to do. Yeah, what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna have you sign a refusal. Uh, it's just stating that you refuse treatment and refuse transport to the hospital. It's uh, nothing really big. It just uh, releases us from any responsibility if you happen to get hurt, seize, die, or anything like that after we leave your care, okay? All right, then I can drive away, I'll be right? right back with the paper. Sir, uh, the, you... yeah, depending on what the police say. Before he has you sign that, sir, can you just answer a few questions for me? Yeah, yeah, I'll try. Go ahead. Uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, my name is, uh, Luis Galisi. Okay, Luis, what city are you in? I don't think I'm in a city. I'm on a highway. Okay, Mr. Luis. Do you know what year it is and who the President of the United States is? It's, uh... 2018, uh, Trump. Trump's president. Okay, Mr. Luis. I'm just gonna ask you a few more questions. Why do you keep calling me Luis? I'm not Luis, I'm, I'm Louis. Louis, okay, I apologize for that, sir. I have a bad hearing aid. Okay, now quickly, if you wouldn't mind letting me know if you, uh, suffered any head injury or loss of consciousness upon impact to that brick wall there no i didn't hit the brick wall very hard i hit i hit something like tree over there pretty hard and it was fine though oh, okay. like 
I don't know. I think the alcohol probably kind of like helped a little bit. You know, you kind of go ragdoll and you don't get hurt or something. Were you wearing your seatbelt, Louis? Uh, All right, deputies, can I have one of y'all witness him I signing so. this paper, please? Yeah, we're both here. I see no reason to keep them. What, what am I signing? I'm gonna have you sign a uh, refusal of medical treatment form. Basically, what this says is this says that you refuse to go to the hospital and fully understand that you are refusing to go to the hospital against medical advice from the paramedics on scene. Oh. If you feel that you have any symptoms or need to go to the hospital, you can simply dial 911 at any point or drive yourself to the hospital. Alright, I'll probably drive. I mean, I'll drive home and if I feel bad, I'll come to you. Okay. Alright, so what I need you to do is just sign right here. He's a deputy and a trooper here are going to witness this. Alright. There, sign your little paper. You all right now? Can I go? All righty. Yep. I oh, thank you. All righty. Have a good one. All right, you too. Have, have, a, good, have a nice sir, day. Go ahead and, hey, thanks, guys. Sir, sir, hang on, sir. Go ahead and turn around, please. No, don't get back in the vehicle. No, out. Oh, hold on. Jesus Christ. I'm out. He said I, I thought I was good to go. Jeez. Face? Yeah, the medic said you were good to go. I didn't. Oh. Go ahead and face that deputy. Wait, what? Wait, what? Who? Behind Face you. The deputy, the guy behind you. This guy? Hi, how are you? Fuck. Guys, take this shit seriously, man. Fucking cigarette on the side of the road. Alright, sir. At this time, you're being placed under arrest for DUI. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do may and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand these rights as I've read them to you today? Uh, yeah, I, I get it. I, why am I being arrested for, like, DUI? I'm sitting on the side of the road having a cigarette. So, I saw you driving the vehicle, so... You're still, you, that's what you're being placed under arrest for. So, if you just follow me over to my vehicle and take a seat in the back. And before you take off with him, is there anything in the car that I should know about that I'm gonna find? Because I am gonna search it. Your car is gonna be impounded and towed, so I have to take an inventory. So, if you come clean now, we'll be a little bit more lenient than if you, uh, say there's nothing in there and I find something. No, there's nothing in there, but you better be nice to it. It's brand new. I don't want to see a scratch on it. Well, it's fine. No, I, I think, yeah, I think you took care of that yourself. Yeah. What? Am I following? All right, go him? ahead and follow the trooper. All right, let's go. Just watch your head as you get in the back, sir. I'm really good to go. I mean, the alcohol wore off. I'm fine. I can walk from here. You won't be walking anywhere today, sir. Okay, well then I'll call a cab. That won't be necessary. My whole of an ex-girlfriend probably set me up. What, she guys, what, she pay you guys to come harass me? Sounds like you're a bit paranoid, sir. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, okay. Alright, sir, follow me. Go ahead and stand at the front of the counter, sir. Going over here? Yep, that'll be perfect, man. Just hang out here. I'm just going to write up your report, okay, and your charges, and then we'll go from there, okay? Yeah, sounds good. Take the car out for a little drive. 
stop on the side of the road for a fucking cigarette. This fucking traffic safety officer over here. It's the school crossing guard. Okay, so you're being charged with reckless and careless driving. It's a $5,000 fine. And the DUI is a $10,000 one. Do you want to be incarcerated, sir, or do you want to pay the fines? It equals ten fifteen thousand. dollars uh, Sorry. It equals $15,000 in total. $15,000? Oh, shit. Uh, That's correct, sir. What's the time in jail? Uh, very minimal, sir. That's up to the judge. Ah, uh, screw it. I'll pay the 15000 Okay, sir. I do right, so I'm gonna take these cuffs off you. Alright. I do apologize if I was a bit of an asshole. It's not been a good day. My, my ex-girlfriend, she's not letting me see my kid. and I had a couple drinks, so if I was, if I was mean or anything, I'm sorry. Sir that's, a, so, sir, that's okay. It's just you were driving under the influence and I just can't let that go. So that's what you, you were charged with. I'm gonna send you the invoice for these um, payments, okay? Alright, sounds good. Okay, so you should have got two invoices there. One should be for 10000 and the other should be for five. Um, I'll need you to pay them before I can let you go, okay? Alright, there you go. Alright, sir. Your payment has been received. You are free to leave. Um, I suggest you catch a cab. And I do not want to see you again on the road driving under the influence, sir. I hope you learnt your lesson and I hope you have a safe night. Alright, sir. Thank you. Again, sorry. You have a nice night. Hopefully you won't see me ever again. You too, sir. Oh, here's your driver's license and your mobile and all that as well. Oh, Here you go. Thank you. No worries, sir. You're free to go. Thank you. All right. You have a nice night. The fuck just... What the fuck just happened? It turned into a fucking wall. What? What? What the fuck? Seriously, don't know what just happened in the fucking graphics. Uh, it's it's literally just this building. What? What the? What the hell? That's weird. No, it's fuck, what the hell? How's that happening? All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, it's an uh, interesting night. Started off doing some law enforcement stuff. I got really boring as there wasn't anything going on. Decided to do some civilian criminal stuff. Apparently the whole fucking server's going to shit right now. Let me know what you thought down in the comment section. I didn't really have <laughs> really any fucking uh, civilian criminal stuff planned for this time. Wanted to, I have some ideas, like I mentioned earlier, but I definitely want to uh, wanted to save those for other times when I was actually prepared for them. So just kind of threw this together really quick. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments. Like I said, I will be going back and forth between Elio and doing criminal stuff as well. Um, if you have any ideas of anything you want to see, I know somebody mentioned tow truck drivers, like I mentioned before. Anything else, anything that doesn't involve the drug locations, uh, let me know. And I will try to get those into a video. All right, guys. I will see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching.